completely done with this dealership. I'll never do business with them again. So, okay, so we just officially, like, just here as we talked, went from 25 to 23. That's 20, good. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Is that we just decided live on the yeah. air. Oh, that's funny. We've spent the last 25 years building a business together. Now we're building the ultimate driving collection. All while having fun with family. And maybe kicking a bush or two along the way. All right, guys, welcome back. It's been a little bit since we've done a garage update. There's been a lot going on here at the Triple F Collection Garage. So I we mean, wanna we wanna get you guys all updated on on what's coming, what's what's arrived, and what's already left that you guys might not know about. I mean, I need this like episode for my own reference because it's hard to come up with it. We have 25 cars coming in, if you can believe that. We have 25, 25. cars coming in with an additional 10 that are already here. So really 35. And seven gone. And seven gone, correct. So I mean, even so we have a list behind you guys right now that we're looking at it took a little while to like oh yeah this car this car yeah. this car and if my math is right we've got um uh carry the one we've got 28 additions net that's a lot where are we gonna keep these things we never thought about that should we build a garage dude you, your math is wrong no 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 it's 28 that's right that's what I said. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? Let's go through what's here. And this, I believe everything has been on the channel recently, but these are, these are gonna be like our recent purchases just to get everybody back to, here are the recent cars that we had that were on order that have come in recently, right? Yeah, have they all been on the channel? Pretty sure. Or they yeah. will be, I don't know when this is airing. They they have, and there might be a couple that aren't, but anyway, so here are the 10 cars that are here. It's the top 10. Oh, the A12 GTS, the surprise for, for Mama F, if you guys haven't seen the video, had a surprise for Mama F. In front uh, of Tiffany. Yeah, in front of Tiffany, go check that video out. Beautiful, beautiful car. One of my favorites, I love the light blue with the dark blue accents. And that's all I know how to describe blues. You always um, correct me. But it's more, it's similar to a Tiffany blue, right? It is, it's close. A Tiffany's a little bit more green. The okay. only mistake Gorgeous. the only mistake we made with that car, I thought we should have gone with silver wheels. I like it the way it is. We should have gone with silver. I you, like it. You heard it here first. The only, right. the only thing wrong with it is that it's not mine. One of my favorites is the new 4x4 squared, which happens to be right behind us here. And that's about the same color, right? As the A12? Close. No, it's, it's a little close. bit more. It's close though. Okay. Similar. But I, I love that car. It's great. We've had a lot of fun with it. We have a few videos that, that we've done with it. So go definitely go check those out. We still need to do the comparison for uh, the old 4x4 squared to the new 4x4 squared. So some cool content coming out for that. And for of course, sure. I think both of our favorites, right? The Mac Daddy. The Mac Daddy, the Bugatti Chiron Supersport. My favorite spec car that I've ever seen. Not your favorite? I'm telling you. I am you telling me. you. I did you, okay? I'm telling you, I might think your car is my favorite spec vehicle that, that we have. I'm not kidding you. I love that spec, but- I'm not kidding you. I mean, it's a Bugatti. Okay, it's a Bugatti, yes. It's a so very, full visual carbon. We say exposed in the industry. We do? Fully exposed. I say visual. I guess we say visual too. If you look at a spec sheet, it says VCF. You know, Bryce calls it Bryce calls it the Tron spec. I don't quite agree with it. He's an idiot. It's not too Tron-y for me. No, Sorry. it's perfection. It, it is, is perfection. So, to me. so a lot more coming out with the Super Sport. Obviously, we're going it. We're going into winter here. There's there's limited stuff to a certain degree that, that we can do. Wait till we um, do Chiron versus Chiron on the drag strip. It's like, gonna that's be awesome. something I'm like looking forward to more than anything else probably that we've ever done on the channel. So in spring, we are looking forward to getting all these cars out to the drag strip, putting them against each other. Ton more content coming out. So obviously that's a Mac Daddy Super Sport. Um, these I don't think have been on the channel, but these are more like, I guess, if you want to call them just like normal cars. One of them has, one of them has. has. We did a, you remember? Uh, the Tesla Model X Plaids. Mom F took us and we were telling her to floor it. That's right. That's right. And so, she got up to 88 consistently. Do you remember that? Every time yes, she would floor it, it she was would 88. stop at 88. That's right. 88. Yep. So we have the blue one from Mama F and then uh, my wife Ashley has a white one. And that's Mama F's favorite car. She drives that like every, every day. She loves it. More than the Maybach, more than the- um, Ashley loves it too. Ashley wants to drive her Tesla all the time. Well, that Megan said, should I get a Model X? Because it's our sister's favorite car. It's Ashley's favorite car. And it's Mama F's favorite car. I don't know. I just, I, there's something I oh, don't yeah. like about them. You guys obviously know one of the coolest cars, in my opinion, that it's one of been the most surprising car to me that I like is- Most surprising. I would yeah. never have guessed I would have liked an older car as much as I do. Correct. So we got a 2006 pre-LP Murcielago with a rebuilt title. We, we got it. We saw it at a George Evans shop when we were checking in on the Warlord, I believe. Yeah, Warlord. And the color got us, right? We saw it, the beautiful blue. That kind of got us. We're like, you know, how much is it? Rebuilt title. So everything kind of lined up to, okay, that yep. sounds good. Yeah. Let's split it and let's just go have fun with this car. It looked fun. It was a great price. We're like, okay, we can't go wrong with this thing. Let's just get crazy. Fell in love with it. Dude, the sound. Is it not 
incredible. It's next level. I, I never expected to like, like a car like that so much. And it feels fast. It feels like some of the other cars are so smooth that I think you lose track of the feedback you get from a car like that. I agree. That's an amazing one. And obviously the 765, mm -hmm. LT oh, Spider. I, that was the best spec. I love that spec so much. Um, and you helped me do that. So if you remember, we spec that out. I was actually in Miami with BDD. We, we actually spec it a couple times because we did spec it with Chad. We finalized the spec with Chad in Philly. So the, these manufacturers, though, with all with all the paint stuff that they do now, with paint a sample, the MSO option, it is like I mean, limitless, absolutely well, limitless. Well, and McLaren, McLaren's next level with they're the best, everything. in my opinion, the best everything in terms of paints. Paint. Um, so yeah, so you guys will have recently seen the 765 LT. Oh. Spider video. My, I'm going to say that's my current favorite spec vehicle that we have. Well, and unlike, I guess I'll say, unlike the Super Sport, I think the spec makes that car, like, I think 50% of the coolness of the car is the spec alone. If not more. And you can't Agreed. say that a Bugatti Super Sport, I mean, it looks phenomenal in any color. Like, the, I love the spec, it's my favorite spec, but you can't say you love it because of the spec. I love my 765 because of the spec and the way it drives. It drives phenomenal. I can't wait well, for you to really get on it. You haven't gotten on it hard yet. Correct. Well, I just think, like, even like a solid color 765, I've seen some really cool colors on them. Just nothing does it for me, like seeing that fade. So, you know, I've seen, like, for instance, like a solid orange. You they know, look cool, seven, but like, like a solid orange 765 Spider, right? Like, I just can't do it. The spec is too basic for me now at this point point it's too basic next we have and this was on uh, when you got a few new cars i think you had a video on that the yes. sl63 and, and i bought this for megan because i kind of took over the convertible the newer bentley continental gt convertible gtc i call it the cgt nope, nope you don't the cgt it's nope, a continental gt nope. that's gonna end right here guys i'm sorry i'll talk to him off camera it will never happen again nope it, i got a cgt please excuse him he doesn't understand what he's saying right now but i kind of took that one over and i saw the um i saw 63 actually jordan specced it it was gonna be his but then he had so many cars coming in he didn't take it and i was like i'm looking for a car for megan she will love this car it is one of the best driving cars it drives amazing does it it drives amazing have you had any issues with it none that's awesome. None. Merce I mean, Mercedes, Mercedes quality right there. Also just want to, you know, throw a shout out to Daniel at Mercedes Benz of Easton too. God, they've been doing so much for us. Thank you, Daniel. Facilitating so much for us. I just, you know, they do a phenomenal job. They bend over backwards. We help each other out. So. Mercedes Benz Easton, you got it going on. You got it going on, baby. Yeah. And one of the coolest things that I think we've done yet. The best uh, gift ever. Was finding our original VIN McLaren MP4 12C. And I have such great memories of that one. It's like our first. Well, well, we had the, the 458 first. Yep. But this was like, I felt like this was even next level to the 458. Well, for sure, because the 458, we, we had to buy used, right? So that it was, the 458 was a 2011. It was used. That's what we could do. That was the first new supercar purchase. And it was the a showroom, spider. Off the showroom floor. The spider did it for me. I love putting the top down. That makes it like... Correct. So, so much better for me. So BDD at the time, you know, he wanted some other cars and, you know, he had to trade that in and get some other cars. Um, it went to somebody local here in Columbus and we were able to find it pretty easily and surprise him with it. And, you know, he, he was pretty shocked. It was a great price. And what an addition to, you know, when we have McLaren Row uh, over there oh, at, at, at the Row. garage, the 12C was really the main thing missing as the connection to like that first modern road car for McLaren. It drives so amazing still. It's, it does. Sometimes you're like, I mean, I know it's only 10 years old, but I, in I, your head, you think of it as an older car and it wouldn't drive as great, but it, it drives and the styling, the styling hasn't gotten old. I love that car. I think it's great. So it, it goes perfect with the collection and for BDD. The last one here that we'll talk about that, that has arrived will be the Cayenne Turbo GT. Yeah, I haven't ridden in that yet. Well, I guess we when we picked it up from Esoteric, you went a little crazy with that. Just a little bit. But, but we'll that have, was like a two minute drive. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have some more fun with it. Um, it's funny, at the time, I didn't realize, I thought I was getting a bench seating only on the Turbo GT, right? So you could order a Turbo and have bench seating only on the Turbo GT, the highest level, it only comes in a two plus two. Every SUV I have will be a two plus two. So, you know, that, that actually leads us into the next. So if you want to start out, so these are the, the next 25 cars coming. So, you know, you want to get rid of your, of your uh, Bentley Bentayga at some point, which leads yes. us into what you put you a deposit on. You want to talk about on. that one first? Yeah, I let's do that. put a deposit down, and um, I'm not going to say it right because it's a weird name, but the Ferrari um, Puro Sangha. Um, I think Pure Sangue. Is it Pure Sangue? I think it's Puro Sang. Okay. I, I don't know how I to say it. I don't it. think you, you say the Gue. Okay. I, I could be completely wrong. Well, I, I can never even refer to it as that. I'm okay. going to have to call it the Ferrari SUV. L let's find out right here. It is said as Puro Sangue. He was right. Meaning pure Sangue, meaning blood. So pure blood. Pure Sangue. But I don't like to say that. What, what the? 
Like I'm just going to call it the Ferrari SUV. Okay. Or the Puro. I've, I've watched a lot of videos on it. It just looks freaking amazing. The driving experience is supposed to be like next level. That's got a V12. Only a V12. Yeah, it's not anything electric. It's not It's not hybrid, no. Sometimes they get electric things confused, but... You um, do it with the Broncos. That's on here, too. That's funny. That was hilarious. But, uh, yeah, but that's going to be the king of all SUVs when that comes out. I'm very, very excited. I would say it's like one of the most I'm excited for, but I'd be wrong if I said that. So, yeah, I'm excited for that, too. We're going to have to do a spec session on that. We haven't done that yet. Um, some of the other cars coming, the Solus GT. That's going to be phenomenal. I mean, what an absolutely incredible car. You know, we just did the video Gorgeous. Back going going on the racetrack with it, getting fitted for the seats. Um, and they have that, like, tuned down. I can't even imagine. That was, like, insane. Correct. So, for the customers at, at that event, they, they, were, they cut it by 2,000 RPM. So, we were running at about... I believe 8,500 RPM max, and it goes to like 10.5. And I'm actually nervous about that car. I think we need to work up to that car because it's got so much to give that it's really hard not to give it. That. And I think you can put yourself in trouble pretty quick. So, you know, you want to talk, that's a track car. That's going to be like a crown jewel though. They're making 25 of them. Only the top customers got offered this car. Coolest looking car ever. I see that just rotating on our turntable. We'll do some track events, take it places just to- For sure. Just to have fun with it and show it off. 100%. So, you know, that kind of leads us into to two more other cars coming. So to get us ready and prepared for the Solus GT for this summer, they're actually, they're gonna be here really soon. They might they're actually- They're on their way. They might be here by the time you guys see this. They so, for sure will, so they're on their way. Gonna, we're gonna be working on a video, but the two 570S GT4s that are completely wrapped, we had our own custom triple F livery put on not only the two 570S GT4s, but a new F450 Dually with a two car hauler that's like all custom made for those two cars. They all match. Here. Well, we do. We have our own triple F livery. Now we, we need to get our own race helmets with that livery. You know that, right? hundred percent. Yes. We got to work on that because come summer. And suits and stuff. We're going to be going to mid Ohio and, and I am going to get into race school because I want to get better at it. I want to know what I'm doing and I don't want to like, I got to prepare for this Solus. I really want to drive the Solus. Look, the car collection will thank you. Okay. That's the, the cars, truth. The cars will thank you in the long run for it. So will you and dad. You're that everybody will, okay? It's a win, 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 what, win. What are you pointing at here? Uh, if this was like your race suit, yeah. what, what I want to see right here would be called landscaper. Okay. Just try I, just try not to landscape on the racetrack, okay? Well, I'm... So going back up into some of the, like, the couple big boys. Yeah, you want to go through the like the hyper cars on the list? Yeah, so we did the Solus GT. We have the, the Bugatti Mistral coming. That's my favorite on the entire list. Like Mine too. By far. That'll be my favorite in the collection by a long shot. But the way the air intakes are over the driver and the passenger, like it's gonna be such an amazing driving experience. I think we all went into it like, okay, I don't know if we want the same car just with the, the top off. And then we went there, like it, it's not a Chiron. One of the coolest things for me is bringing in the rear of the Bolid a little bit with the X taillights. I love that. Amazing, absolutely incredible. How the Bugatti text comes out oh, and it's yeah. like three dimensional. Yeah, it's amazing. So good. So looking forward to that. Um, the one that's coming really soon is the Remots Nevera. Remots that, Nevera. That should be coming. I mean, everything gets delayed all the time, literally all the cars. Um, that should be coming in the next but, but, you know, month we or two. We saw the video um, where they, it was actually being assembled. This one actually is, I think for the Triple F collection. Okay. This is their car, you know, they are quite big YouTubers, yeah, uh, yeah. collectors. I, let me just check. Yeah, that's their car. So we should have that very soon. That's going to be next level incredible for the drag strip this spring. We're going to put it against. You, you I guys mean, it's are just going to eat up everything. Yeah, it's I mean, not even going to be like even putting fun. It, even putting it against the Super Sport, it's going to eat it alive. What does that have, 1,900? 1,900 plus horsepower. Plus. They don't even know. It's like freaking we have a lot and we're just going to put a plus at the end because... We're not wrong. The the Yesco. The Yesco we got. I think it's going to be one of the most incredible cars. I do. Uh, we had the video where we interviewed Christian von Koenigsegg, and we talked a lot about the Yesco and what it meant to him. And that was, it was pretty cool learning from the man himself. It was. About the Yesco. And I he's, mean, hearing about him and his bond w with his dad. But, you know, he had video of him driving it, talking about what an incredible driving experience that is. And that, that revs super high, too. That's over 10,000, right? 10,500, I believe. So it's around there. I could be wrong, but it's around there. It's, it's a lot of revs. I know that. Uh, high, high rev, I'm going to say high revving. You're right. It is the world fastest revving. It revs hard. And then the yes, it was like, Bzeep, like that. I'm not even going to be able to shift that fast. Do you have to shift it? It's like, nah. maybe not. I don't know. Yes, you do have to shift it, I'm sure. Is that why they call it Yesco? You know what, though? You're right. There is a full automatic mode for you. You'll probably use that the most, okay? Thanks. Okay, so the Yesco is going to be amazing. <laughs> two 400Zs. Yeah, I didn't even, I forgot about that. I know, I don't care. I don't give two 
It's about the four hundred Z's. To be honest, it doesn't like you are so anti JDM. We're gonna get one to build for the channel. The second one is like not like you're the, actually gonna do a build on this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do a build on four hundred Z. Yeah. Anyway, let's get to the next one. Yes. I thought Bronco Raptors. I don't know if we're ever gonna get up. We've been waiting forever. The video came out like I don't even know how long ago, but I saw a Bronco Raptor when I picked up my seven sixty five. They had a Bronco Raptor in the spec that I ordered that burnt orange, and it was freaking amazing beautiful yeah all i'm hoping is i get it for the summer i want to take all the doors and everything off and just like and if not we'll end up just probably getting one and paying a little bit over for it if we can't get our own well, since we have no idea and people can't seem to tell us you know if there's anybody out there watching right now that maybe you're a dealer maybe you know somebody give us and, a deal and they have bronco raptors in or they have one coming and we can maybe do a collab or we can do something together we'd love to see and and hear what you have so you know shoot us a dm an email uh we'd love to see if there's a possibility out there maybe doing something else to get these sooner i, I really want that that car and Honestly, it's another one of my favorites on the list. So moving on to a couple Porsches, uh, we have the GT4 RS. Yep. That's yours. That's still, that, that still needs to come. Are we going to get that one? Yes, we do have. We for sure have the allocation. You had to tell me today when you um, spec yours what color. I forgot. It's been so long. I got Arctic gray with black. And it's a stun yep. And then we have the GT3 RS coming. Two Z06s still coming. We spec'd one and, as a spider and, and one like, as regular. And unfortunately, you know, we've done some stuff with a local dealership here in Columbus. We've done some car shows. We've done some things with them. The time came for us to put in our allocation or our spec for the allocation. They did give me a call. They sent me a text on a Thursday. I got back with them on a Monday, Tuesday. And they'd already gone down the list and gave that allocation to somebody else. Without, I mean, so disappointing. Without making contact with me. This they didn't is, even try to call again. Correct. They gave you one opportunity and then like, okay, goodbye. Well, you know, we'd already had a previous issue with, you know, we were going to have two. I don't know if you guys remember, but we did a video on having two GT4 RSs. And, you know, one of them was going to be, you know, paid over to help with the race team. We were going to have the race team. Give to the race team. We thought that was a cool thing to help get involved yep. with their race team. But, yep. but you know, I got, I got bamboozled a little bit on, on that one. They told me a price. Um, that, that I had known about, like over, that I'm donating to this race team. And, and we've I, never paid over for anything. That would be the first car that we've ever, correct. We, we justified it as we wanted to give to the race team. So correct. it was kind and of a win-win. It'd, it'd be cool if you and I both had one, but look, it was a cool opportunity. You know, they wanted 50 over for, for the car. We go, we have this meeting, we bring the, we bring kind of cameras. We want to find out more about the race team. I get there, they want 75 over. I'm like, well, what are you talking about? You want 75 over? What, what do you mean? It's been 50 this whole time. Well, you know, this person that didn't really have say, tried and to do this. the market moved and now, the market's this. Correct. So just very disappointing with a local dealership that we have done stuff with that we right, have supported. That we've supported. So they, they wanted the 75. I just I just told them no. Like there's no way I'm doing that. And then I hear through the grapevine, I have a buddy whose dad ended up buying that allocation for 60 over. So not only did they try to charge me 75, but then they gave it 15 grand cheaper just to a random person to that someone has, they had no relationship that, that with. walked in off the street so like the whole thing and then and then that combined with giving away the, the allocation after not actually being able to talk to me and just moving down their list like a typical dealership would completely done with this dealership i'll never do business with them again you know i'm not saying like well you should do whatever we want because we are who we are this is like we had a deal in place Right, they totally and, and, and backed you, out of the deal. And you reneged on it. That's not okay for anybody, not just because of us, but then to not see more than two feet in front of your face with a potential customer, knowing how we treated our customers when we were in business, that would never happen. We'd never treat anybody like that. So we do still have the 206, and like I don't think, I don't know if I'm gonna accept these allocations though. Well, we have one good allocation. We do, but it's through the same dealership. Oh, it is? Yeah. I were, didn't know that. They're both. We don't need their Z06. Okay, so you. you no, no, okay, let's cross it off. We don't, we don't need. We don't so, need one. We don't need any. So, okay, so we just officially, like, just here as we talked, went from 25 to 23. That's 20, good. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Isn't that, we just decided live on the yeah. air. Oh, that's funny. Okay, that, we so don't want that. we talked about your Ferrari. We have the, our two new Land Rovers that we're super oh. excited about getting. Well, yours is actually in right now. It's in an esoteric right now. So, by the time you guys see this, we'll probably be filming with it. Well, it's, and yours is different because you have the third row and then my Range Rover that I got we spec that in um, I'm gonna shock everybody white I have a lot of white cars and this is this is the the SV right it's the SV um, so this is meant, ratio this is meant to um, be driven more because it's meant for the back seat more like more like the Rolls Royce stuff right it's very nice in the back yes I'm very excited to, to see this and see how it compares to the current Range Rover before I turn it in we're gonna have to do a comparison on Kind of the current version and the new version and show For the sure. differences. We well, all, moving on. We you want also to move down the list yeah, here. We also I have a secret vehicle. Oh, you're gonna go. We secret? know we know about it. The audience does not know. Okay, so we gotta keep it a surprise about this one, but it is it's around a million dollars. I'm very, very excited about it. It hasn't happened yet. The car is currently getting a PDI at the at a dealership that it was brought to just to make sure 
So if it's good, it's a done deal. Yeah. Bryce is very excited. I think everybody's very excited. Everybody's going to be excited about this. We didn't know we needed it until we did. And now it... That might might give it away. I mean, and this might be like my favorite car to drive potentially like out of all the cars. I think this is going to be a crown jewel in the collection. I agree with that. So more coming on that. Um, And then... We, oh, secret for everyone. And then now I also have another secret car that you guys don't know so about. So he bought a car and he won't tell us. He's like, I want this to be a secret. And you guys have no idea about it. None. No, none. He didn't tell either Bryce or myself. He wants it to be a surprise. He says it's a really cool car, around 300000 It's around 300000 And I have no guesses. I don't know what would be cool. Well, Is, we can let, you know what? We can let them guess too on both secrets. Well, so, let me ask you a question about yes. it. Is it like a, a new current car? Or is it like an older throwback, like early early two two thousand? But what what kind of era is it in? What generation? Neither, neither of those. Is it pre two thousand? It is not. Is it two thousand two thousand ten? It is not. Two thousand ten or greater? Yes. Hmm. Okay, let's keep going because we got a lot to get through. We have. Um, what do I want to pick on the list here to talk about? BDD wanted a new daily driver. He didn't have a sedan, so he asked us for a sedan. How so we, wild is that? No sedans that, out of all the cars. Out of all is of that the, crazy? Out of all of his cars, no sedan. You know, there's very few sedans out of any of our cars. You know that? Well, I had, I just don't love sedans to be honest. Like you don't have one, do you? Uh, no. What was the last sedan? I don't even remember the last sedan I have. Do you? The E Series sedans? Was that it? But so, anyway, so, BDD wanted a sedan. He likes. He's had a lot of sedans over the years. He loves sedans. He does love sedans. He doesn't like SUVs. I've never seen him like really drive an SUV. Oh, okay, so this S Class, we'll put up a picture of it here. You know, beautiful blue with with a nice dark brown slash almost orange interior. Well, that's gonna be here anytime. We gotta put that on the channel. Correct. We gotta do a delivery to BDD. Okay, so moving down the list, we have four Lambos coming in. So if you love Lamborghini, like. We're a Lamborghini ambassador, I guess, at this point, right? That's right. If you love Lamborghinis, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell, baby. And as we're talking about subscribers, we are almost at 200. We're going to do a great giveaway at 200,000. We're at like 192 at this point. So if you can help us out, subscribe, get us 200,000. We're going to do a pretty cool giveaway. Can anybody guess what we're going to give away? They can't. Could they guess? Nope. Okay. I've seen it given away on Wheel of Fortune, though. Have you? Okay. That narrows it down a lot. It's not a car. It's not a car. But we we have already looked at at 250. We're doing a car, so you guys can get us right up to 250. There's enough people that watch our videos on a regular basis to get us above 250. So if you well, you quit kissing the mic. I was itching myself. Oh, the, four. You want to talk about the four yeah, Lambos? The, the four. We have the Huracan Technica. We have the Huracan Storado. We have the Urus Performante, and we have the new Aventador replacement coming. Which we're uh, already on the list for. We are. We'll, be, we'll, be, we'll have one Bryce of the first. says, well, you don't even know what it is. Well, we know enough. We know enough to know that, th- we th- know th- enough. that they've taken a deposit and the car is in camo and it's about ready to be revealed. Okay. And then another one that's coming that's pretty cool is the Virgil Maybach S-Class. Uh, and we love Virgil. So those of you that don't know, uh, Virgil is the late creative director for men's at Louis Vuitton. He was uh, very, he changed the industry. I'm the first African-American to be the head of one of the European fashion houses. Yep. Brought in streetwear, skater style, and just changed the whole fashion industry. And I'm very excited for this car, the Virgil Maybach. I mean, yeah, it's, it'll be about 350,000. And um, how many people got this car? I think there's 150. So, but again, Daniel and Mercedes, they were able to, to get that done for us. So let's give it up to Mercedes-Benz Easton, Jermaine, Daniel. Give it up. Give it up, Bryce. Bryce, thank you. Thank you. The last one I think on this list coming in will be um, my 765 LT Spider. Gosh, I'm excited to see the 765. They're going to look so good together. You're um, so good. Your VCF. Well, it's, is that cerulean blue? Um, I'm pretty sure. Whatever accent that is. Yeah, so like, so wherever kind of like the air touches, right? Like the aerodynamic places of the air. Right. So if you looked at a wind tunnel, everywhere kind of the wind tunnel touches it, that's where. It's You're gonna faded. see that it's it's a faded cerulean yeah. blue. So super super excited. That comes in about five to six weeks. That that'll be here. They're Something. gonna look so good together. They are. I can't wait for that. So we'll we'll hop over here real quick. Well, well, you missed one. You missed. I did. One. Well, you kind of spoke to it. You, the F450. So we, oh, yeah. you bought the F450 to haul our trailer with our track car. So we can take these track cars to Mid Ohio right. and um, learn to race. And then we should I say it. We're going to have a big unveiling for the Solus GT, and we're going to have our friend Bruno Senna come and drive it for us at a big event at Mid-Ohio. So we're going to have him rip it around because we couldn't do it justice. That's right. Or we'd kill ourselves. So Bruno 
is the nephew of Ayrton Senna. For sure. So it'll be really cool being able to have him come to, to a McLaren. Unveiling and giveaway and being able to see what that car can do I want to see what it can do. I want to see him really push it. So One car that we didn't put on here. The Artura. Yes. That's not on there. And that was so fun to drive. I mean, in our video, you might have think we were like hyping it up, but God, that fun. thing drove so nice. I was not expecting that. So, so our goal is to make it the highest mileage Artura in the world. So anytime any of us has a like a driving trip, take that. Correct. Well, and you know, a, a couple times Bryce and his wife, Leah, they've gone to like Tennessee. I think they, they go to, to Tennessee, not often, but like they do make that trip. So, so it's take, like, well, take it. Take, you guys take the Artura, take it with We're you. We're going to put do, miles on it. Yeah, there you go. Drive the Artura. We're going to put as many miles on this thing as we can. We're going to race to 100,000 miles. We're going to drive this thing until the wheels fall off, guys. Okay, so that's 36 cars. Well, we knocked two off of that, so we're going to have to say 34. 34, that's right. 34 cars. So, 34. So now for, the, for a few that have left the garage, there are about seven cars that have left the garage. So just giving that quick update, I had the 720S Spider. Which was really just like a gateway to you got your 765. Well, because, you know, you know, Chad had it. He wasn't going to have another one. It was a cool spider. So it's like, I'll take it. But the original intent with buying that car was to always trade it for the 765 whenever right. I came in. Um, and it was winter. So I'm just like, you know, just come pick it up. And, you know, there were a few others that I just really like the Aston Martin. Uh, I just really wasn't impressed. I never really liked it. No, I wasn't really impressed with, with the DBS. It, it was just nothing special. The interior is not anything special. You step into, into your Bentley convertible. Oh, I love the Bentley over, over the Aston. No comparison. None. And the GTR Special Edition, one of 10 in the, in the, con in the world, uh, in the country, that is gone. But I had planned on keeping it. But Nissan said that they were not making any more GTRs. What do they do recently? They announced there's more GTRs coming out for well, 2024. And I know you say I hate JDM, which basically I do, but that GTR drove so nice. When I drove that on the on the drag strip in like, gosh, it had to have been in the 30s. That thing drove so nice. Like you're driving full. I mean, you can just one hand that thing. The thing just, hooks up nicely. It, it never it's very feels easy. like it's going to lose connection. It's, it was yep. fast as fast could be, too. Very so. easy to drive. So they just even came out with this like special edition version that's the same color, but all updated. We we, we just are saw you going to get that one? Or are you done with GTRs? No. Well, like look, when there when there's an actual final edition for the R35, I will get that car and I will keep that car. How do you know? Just going to keep buying them until they decide the last last. So those three cars for me, the 720, the Aston, and the GTR all got um, traded in through McLaren Philadelphia with Chad, um, and those will just go towards paying for the 765 Spider. Well, the um, next one's very controversial. This is, we haven't really talked about it. I don't know if we can say it's technically gone. We had it on order, and then we decided that it really wasn't a great fit for the collection, and... We're gonna say, you know, it is the, the Pagani U Utopia. So we did have that on order, and um, we ended up we ended up getting out of it, you know. Um, and really, it was, you know, we, we wanted the manual. That's kind of the main reason. Then, and then it is, but, BDD, but like, I'd rather get one of the limited edition Utopias if we're going to buy one than having like like the first standard model, right? right? We have we have BCs. We have like like the versions of these cars. So it just didn't. It doesn't quite fit exactly what we're going no, for. No, we decided we. Even though, yeah, how can you say it's not limited? They produce very limited cars, but we want the limited of the limited, and we'd rather wait for, like you said, we'd rather wait for the BC or whatever the next, maybe as we get better at tracking, maybe we get the um, R. And another thing we have to look at is, you know, all these hyper cars, are, you know, are cars that we share in, and they've got to work for all of us. And sometimes, you know, BDD has trouble getting into some of the smaller cars. Correct, so, you know, I mean, when we're going to that level, when we're going to like the hypercar level, that we're all three putting our time, money, and energy into it, we want to we want to make sure it works for all three of us. Not only does it have to fit the collection, not it only doesn't have to be a car that we want to drive. It has to be one that works for each of us as individuals. Correct. Don't worry, we're going to do more stuff with Pagani. There's more stuff planned. I was really excited about it, but you know, the more and more we talked about, it probably wasn't the greatest fit for this time. And there's going to be um, like like the BCs coming out. Correct. So why get into the you know first one of the Utopia? Let's wait for a more limited. Correct. So the very last thing we're going to talk about here while we're gone, we haven't really sat down and talked about it at length. It was in an, an earlier video. A so lot of, controversial. A lot of people ask about it. Uh, they still quite don't know. I think the most controversial thing Pro on the channel. Yes. Um, you know, we did end up selling the Koenigsegg Regera to the dealership. You, know, you have to think about it in terms of, you know, everyday usability. How is it, how is it going to go for each one of us? And, you know, we were just getting to a point to where, you know, we have the Yesco on order and it just quite, it just didn't really fit what we wanted any longer. And, you know, um, 
you know, Newport Beach, they were they, they gave us you know, they gave a, us a great offer, on a, it a great offer to buy to buy the car back. It's a great car and it's very sought after. And we, you know, weren't driving it. I think there's something about that single drive that some people love, but you know, there's something about just being able to go through the gears too that feels so good. And there's more in the pipeline and more cool things going on with Koenigsegg. But you know, it just wasn't. You know, that was a car that just you know it just didn't quite fit the collection anymore. And you know, it was an offer that we couldn't refuse, so it left. You know, as much as we love the brand, I mean, we're not afraid to say sometimes they fit, sometimes they don't, and well, I, I think everybody understands that. Well, and look, we're never just going to keep a car just because it's a brand. We've got to want to drive it. Drivability right. is our number one. That's right. If we, that's why we got rid of the Carrera GT, the 918. People thought we were crazy, and we just like, weren't driving them. And you know, it's not for everybody. I get some people that's the favorite car in the world, but. Correct. Go buy it. There's one more out there for you. Right. So you know that's that's what's coming. That's what's here. That's what's gone. You know, if you guys Ugh. have if you guys have any more recommendations on, hey, is there a car that we're overlooking that we haven't talked about that you haven't heard yet? You know, drop us a comment. Let, well, let us know. Like, is there something else that's out there that's like, hey, you guys have a great collection, but you need this car? Let us know. Well, I'll tell both of us one that I would love. Okay. Oh yeah. <sighs> Unfortunately, they're just going so so far above sticker the Ferrari. Daytona SP3. I freaking love that listen, car. Listen, we would love. I'm in love with it. We would love to have a Ferrari Daytona SP3. If anybody watching the video, anybody can help us get one of these cars. I heard they're about two million over right now. You can't I, right now. You know, it's we want to pay two million over. Yeah, you know, we were we were talking about a, mil, a million over ish, and you know, we were you know we would probably very high probability of bringing that into collection at a million over. There's not enough out there. They're not even you know delivered yet to people. But that is a car to where you know if if, if there's somebody that that wants to contact us about a Daytona SP3, we will certainly be all ears. We're definitely in the market, for sure. I love that car. I love it too, I'm We made a mistake you. not getting in that from the beginning. It is, it is like, I cannot think of another car that I would rather no. bring into the collection that we don't currently have coming or here. It's a drop top too. Mm. God, I love it. Now I'm just getting upset talking about it. <laughs> I gotta forget that it even no, exists but, you know, because but, I love it. Well, but you know, we'll do what we can and we'll, we'll try to see if we can get one of these Daytona SP3s. Um, you know, we're just not a big enough customer with Ferrari at this point to be on the list for such limited cars with them. You know, we're, we're working up to doing certain things. You know, we bought the 812. We have like, the, I guess on the coming, we didn't put, um, I do have a 296 GTS. Oh yeah. Coming, the convertible version of the- of That the takes new, us up to 35. Of the new 296. But so that wraps it up, right? That's yeah. everything. That's a lot to go through. So the two cars that, that we're really looking at That's right, right now, the Daytona SP3, and um, the Bugatti Veyron uh, Grand Sport Vitesse. Gosh, it would right? be hard. I think I would rather get the SP3, but I would a too. close second has to be the Vitesse. I love the Vitesse. We missed an opportunity, what, two years oh, ago? Oh, yeah. It was a, a golden opportunity. I am kicking myself because at that point, I really, really wanted one. But then I was like, okay, I don't want to spend that the much The market money. was so good on them, too. Oh, I know. they've gone up over a million dollars since then. I know. We've probably, I mean, would have had a... It's a like perfect a, spec. Yeah, like a positive, like 1.5 million on that car. The perfect spec. I know. Oh, I kick myself. It's true. So, okay. I mean, you guys really have seen it all at this point. If you think of something that we haven't thought of, drop us a line. Other than that, we hope you guys enjoyed the update. We have a lot more videos coming to you. We have a lot more content yes. to bring you guys, all right? But don't forget to subscribe on our way to 250. We're going to hit that 200 mark pretty soon. Do a nice giveaway. 250, it's a car though. Come on, help us give you that car. Help us give you that car. We love you. Bye.